delighted once again to have John Sparks with us as the Maris Poll goes to spring training. Uh, John, where do we find you today? Lee, I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona at Salt River Fields at Talking Stick, which is a spring training field that the Arizona Diamondbacks play at. And today we've got the Oakland A's playing the Diamondbacks. Our old buddy Bartolo Colon starting for Oakland. Remember and him well. <laughs> yeah, and, and Brandon McCarthy for the Diamondbacks. Uh, they played each other twice and split. And so today's a rubber match if anybody keeps score at these uh, uh, spring training games. But I got to tell you that you know, being around Diamondbacks takes me back to 2001. And uh, it reminds me of, of our partner in crime, Barbara Carvalho, who has to this day not forgiven Mariano Rivera for his meltdown against the D-backs. We would have had another World Series in the Bronx. What can I say? Well, I, you know, I've told her that uh, you know, the statute of limitations is 10 years on blowing the, uh, the ninth inning of the uh, seventh game of the World Series. Uh, and given that he's announced his retirement, I think it's time to let bygones be bygones. I don't know if I've succeeded on that point, however. Well, I'm here really. I, I kind of wanted to, to, to look ahead. That was then, this is now. And I wanted to see these Oakland A's because they won the American League West last year. Or I should say the Texas Rangers uh, lost it. They were The Rangers were in first place until the very last day of the season. Uh, the, the A's scooted in. So I wanted to see if the A's were for real. I've seen the Rangers. I've seen the Angels uh, this, this week. And now I want to see the A's to kind of get a better picture of the the AL West. And so that's really kind of why I'm here. However, uh, I did spend some time watching the Diamondbacks drill. You know, spring's a time when they drill, drill, drill. Yeah. Rope, rope, rope. Uh, these plays that uh, you go over and over and over so that when the games start counting for real, uh, you do automatically. For instance, today I watched pitchers work at fielding infield hits and which base to go to and all. I saw pitchers, J.J. Hutz, and Tyler Skagg working over and over and over again on this drill. And then a little bit of a, a scuttlebutt from the clubhouse, Kirk Gibson, he and the watch me get this one off Dennis Eckersley in a World Series, uh, revealed that a, their potential leadoff hitter, Adam Eaton, who came up at the end of last season, uh, these were Gibson's words. Adam Eaton has a little chip on his shoulder. And he's hoping that uh, the veterans will loosen him up. He says he's not ready to panic right now. He said that uh, there's always a good mix in the clubhouse. You have all kinds of different personalities, and that's kind of uh, the dynamic. But but he did say that, that Mr. Eaton needs to kind of loosen up a little bit. Now, so, when, you're, when you're watching the practices and you're watching the games, I mean, can you really see the difference between the young kids trying to make the team and the veterans just trying to get into shape, knowing they've got – a uh, place on the scorecard once the season starts. Can you see that difference? Absolutely. Every play, even if it's not in the practice, uh, if you're a young kid, all the eyes are on you. You only get so many chances. And so there is a lot of pressure. Uh, the veterans, they know they're going to make the team. Uh, and it is a time where they're just kind of, you know, polishing up those skills uh, for themselves. Now, yesterday, for instance, I was watching Clayton Kershaw at the Dodgers. He, by the way, is going to start against uh, Hugh Garbage tomorrow against Texas. But, you know, here's Kershaw, who, in between a Sports Illustrated photo shoot yesterday, uh, was working on his mechanics. He worked over and over again on his mechanics, going from the stretch. Now, here's a man that was a Cy Young award winner in the National League, led the league for the last three seasons in ERA, I believe, and yet he's still working. And if you're a young kid, however, Everything is magnified a thousand times because of that. Sure, sure. Now uh, you're you're going to be watching uh, yesterday or uh, the day before. You watch the uh, uh, the Angels. They were only five off the pace uh, last time last season against the uh, the A's. So you're going to be watching today. They've really brought in some strong acquisitions. Uh, really built up their their hitting enormously. Do you think this is now their season to lose? Or are, is it likely the A's could repeat? On well, the American League West, I'd say the Angels. Uh, although Josh Hamilton still swings at those first pitches, still misses them. It doesn't matter what comes down on five, he's going to swing at it. And so that's the way you get to Hamilton. But uh, I saw Pujols, saw Brad Kent. I mean, they, the Angels have a, a tremendous lineup. And the Rangers lost 103 home runs out of their lineup. 
So uh, that's kind of why we want to see Oakland. Uh, but this Oakland team today, there have been a lot of departures, a lot of new faces, typical Billy Dean, you know, put something together. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, what transpires today. Uh, I would like to talk a little bit about the Dodgers. Yeah, a bit big, spe big spending team. I mean, does that get them situated for the possible, you know, World Series bound team this year? They spent a lot of money, but yesterday, second stringers from the Chicago Cubs uh, beat them eight to one. Uh, you had their lefty on the mound for the Dodgers, Chris Tapiano. He was 12 and 12 last year. He got beat up bad. Uh, he, uh, in the first inning, for instance, Cub catcher uh, Wellington Castillo, he tripled him home a couple of runs. They scored three in the first, and when it was all said and done, Tapiano went four and a third innings, gave up five earned runs on six hits. They're going to have to do better than that uh, if they're going to win. And, and also, they didn't get much offensive punch. Adrian Gonzalez, you know, the, the, the old Red Sox, uh, I mean, he went 0 for 3 yesterday. Uh, now, Andre Ethier got ahead, uh, but, uh, you know, it was a pretty anemic Dodger lineup yesterday. That's got to change if they're going to win. Yeah. And, Pressure's on to win with all that money having been spent. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now you, you know, summarize your week. Uh, you've been a uh, veteran of many, many grapefruit uh, seasons, uh, grapefruit league. Uh, now you've uh, got headed west for the cactus league. So what's the biggest thing that stands out as the difference between the two? Well, the temperature for one, yesterday we wilted. It was 94 degrees out in Glendale and a fruity, fruity sun. The heat in Florida is more of a, a humid heat, uh, but the Arizona thing is pretty neat because all the parks are fairly close. They're all bedroom communities of Phoenix, so you can get from one place to the other. You see a lot of time, a lot of teams in a short amount of time. Uh, in Florida, you know, you drive from Tampa to Fort Lauderdale to West Palm, and it makes it difficult. But Lee is a great time, no matter which end of it you're at. Yeah. Shag and autograph, mix and mingle with players. Uh, in fact, I'd like for you and Barb and Mary Azoli of the Maris Poll to join me next year. Tell you what, you pick it out. Florida, <laughs> Arizona, but let's all do it together. <laughs> from your from your uh, lips to God's ears here, I know you know what this is. Uh, uh, any I chance think... we're going to be wearing this with pride when the season ends this year? Right. Well, let's hope we do. I wish I had mine to put on. I don't today, and I need it in the sun. But uh, I do look forward to... Uh, uh, bringing some more features next week, uh, perhaps. Uh, and uh, otherwise, we'll look for you down the road. Absolutely. And as they say, play ball. We're ready for the season to start up here. Thanks a lot, John Sparks. As Maris Cole goes to spring training, we really, really appreciate uh, these segments you provide. They've been a lot of fun. Adios. Take care.